everybody, this is Chef Media here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Dreo 42 inch smart tower fan. We did receive this product to review, but any opinion is my own. If you're interested in this product, the link will be in the description below. Now you guys can see the brown standard retail box and packaging that we have here in front of us. With that being said, let's get into the package contents. Here are all the package contents all laid out for us. As you guys can see, we have the tower unit to our right hand side. On the upper left hand corner, we have the tower fan user manual in white. To the right of that, we have a paper to show you how to get a five year warranty and sign up for Dreo and be part of the community. To the bottom of that, we have the remote to the tower fan. And to the right of that, we have the connecting to Dreo app instructions. At the bottom of that, we have the two connecting feet, which connect to the unit and to help it stand firmly in place. With all that being said, let's go ahead and assemble this tower fan. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put these two halves together and then we're gonna attach them onto the unit. Now that the base of the unit is attached and the power cord is plugged in, let's get into some of the manual features on the unit itself. Now that we're up close and personal with the unit, you can see that there are six different features on this tower fan. The first feature that we'll get into is the power button. Pressed it on, we're already on a level four and I can easily turn it off like so. The second feature that I want to get to is our timer button. So you can see, here's our timer button right here. I'm going to click it once and this is where you can actually set an amount of time for the fan to stay on. So if I wanted to set it, it can go all the way up to 12 hours. Our next feature is our oscillation button. What the oscillation does is it adjusts the airflow direction. It can go in 180 each way. Okay, as you can see, I press it here. You can see it oscillating as it does. Also, when we're connecting our device to the app, it actually serves for a long press to start the network settings. So if you're gonna press that, which I'll show you guys, you'll press that for five seconds and that will pair your device with the tower fan. Next, we have the mute button. And what this does is it just mutes all the different sounds that you create when you touch all the different features. I will click that now and show you guys what I'm talking about. As you can hear, there are no sounds. I'm clicking the timer, nothing. Unmute, and you can hear it. You hear the click. Next, you can see we have our fan speed. With our fan levels, it can go all the way up to a level six. We will go up there for you. And as low as a level one. Last but not least, we have our mode button. With our mode button, it has four different features in our mode button. Right now, the feature that it's on, you can see this little leaf right here. What this leaf means is that, that it's a natural mode right now. And what natural mode is, is that the fan runs at an alternating speed. So it kind of duplicates or replicates what it's like to be outside, uh, what it's like to have a natural, natural breeze, natural wind about it. Okay, I'm going to switch to our next mode. And that is our sleep mode. Our sleep mode where is the fan speed decreases every 30 minutes and the speed decreases by two levels at most and will remain constant if at a level one. So it'll decrease, it'll keep on going down two levels at a time. Okay, let's switch it out and let's go to our auto mode. Our auto mode is the fan speed adapts to the ambient temperature. So no matter where you're at, the fan speed's gonna adapt to that temperature where you're at. I love that feature. That is just so cool that they're able to figure that out and do that with science and technology. Okay, we're gonna go to our last one. And that is our normal mode. The fan runs at a constant speed in a normal mode. This is usually what everyone is gonna be wanting to be on because they can control their level. But obviously you have natural mode, you have sleep mode. You can do a whole lot of different things if you wanna change it up for your comfort and for your viability. Now that we've ran through all the features manually on the device, 
we can now take a look at the remote and how those features play out on the remote. I point it right at the unit and I turn off the unit and I can click the red button again and turn on the unit as well. Okay. As you can see, we have the up or down on the levels of fan speed. So I'm going to go up because we're at a level one right now. We're going to go up to a level four. Okay. And you can go back down. We can go to a level two or we'll go back to a level one. Okay. Now here's our mode button. As you can see, we have natural mode. I just clicked and I pointed again. We have sleep mode. We have auto and we have normal. Okay. Here's our oscillation button right here. All right. You can see the device is oscillating. And we have our timer button. You can see we're setting our timer up. We're going to stop oscillating. Okay. We set our timer up to as high as it can go, up to 12. And if we want to mute that sound, we go right here to the mute button. I'm going to change it up or down. Yep. Mutes that sound. Now, if I turn back on the mute, the, uh, off the mute button, this is how it plays out. You can hear the clicking. And that is the remote. Now we can go ahead and get the device set up and connected on our Dreo app. And I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to click on it. It's the blue icon right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a device. Do that. We're going to wait for our tower fan. There it is. It popped right up. I'm going to click that. And right now, we're going to have to go over and we're going to have to click the, the oscillation button for five seconds to pair it. There we go. We are going to log in to our Wi Fi. I'll go on and connect for just a second here. And there it is. Our device name is Tower Fan. We'll just keep it at that because I'm going to delete this device name. But if you, if you do have multiple devices, you definitely want to name them so you don't get mixed up. I'm going to click Done. And as you can see, there's our Tower Fan right there, our Cruiser Pro T2. And let's see here. We're going to go down. And there you can see all of our features that we just talked about. There's our normal mode. There's our natural mode. You can see that I just changed it on the tower fan itself. It goes into our sleep mode, change that into our auto mode. And then we can adjust the speed levels all the way up to six or all the way to one. We're going to keep it out of one. Okay. Oh, there's our oscillation. You can turn our oscillation on and off. There it is, our tower fan's oscillating for us. You can see up at the top of the top left hand corner as well that you can see that there's an indoor temperature reading. So it actually detects the temperature of where the fan is, which is a really cool, cool feature about it. Okay. We're going to stop oscillating. Let's get it back to where, where it needs to go first. <laughs> if only we could control the speed of the oscillation. Right, so it's in view for our camera, perfect. Okay, so we can go to our Discover. You can see different type of recipes, anything you wanna put in there for our app. We could turn on or off the fan, which is really cool. And you could also add other fans as well. Go to our settings. There's our user manual right there. You click in and out of the user manual, and that's really cool because if you lose your user manual, you got it right here. You can go through every single page, all the contents, super quick and easy. Okay, we have our fax. If you run into any trouble, it's nothing that the fax can't can't get for you. Fortunately, there's no results found for this one. Okay, you can do the mute button where you can't hear the sounds of the buttons. You can share this device, you have your Wi-Fi info, your firmware. And another really cool, awesome feature of this is you can actually connect it to Alexa. So we don't have it connected to Alexa, but it's very simple to do so. As you can see, I just clicked on Alexa. You can see all the different things that it can do. And then you simply click connect 
and you just connect it to your Alexa, you'll go through there. I won't connect it now, but it's, a, it's an easy process, okay? Yeah, so that is our device, and that is most of the features within our app. Super quick and easy to use. I love the app feature. The last thing that I want to do with you guys is actually do a sound test with this unit. And we have our sound level meter right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this fan level all the way up to six, which is its highest level, and test the max decibel sound coming from the unit. And then we're going to put it all the way to its lowest setting, which is the level one. And we're going to test how loud the, the sound of the unit gets on the lowest level as well and compare the two. It read out to about 48.8 on the lowest setting. Now we're gonna do the same thing and we are going to change the fan speed to a level six, as you guys can see. And just like before, here's our sound level meter and we're gonna to have to be quiet now for about 15 seconds to make sure that I can get the max decibel reading. All right, guys. So, as you guys can see, it's held at 54.5 decibels. So, just a few decibels higher. In conclusion, if you're looking for a fan that is a quiet and cooling solution for bedrooms and home offices, then you should definitely check out the Dreo 42-inch Smart Tower Fan. Thanks, guys.